Pretty much going to be a case of Rain of Fire. That movie, Rain of Fire, yeah. it's about dragons. I, Charles I, Adam, I fucking, I actually know what movie you're talking about. That's the sad thing. I actually fucking know what movie you're talking about. I saw that <laughs> when I was like a teenager, probably. Uh, oh, yeah. It's been a long time since I heard, heard about it, but... Um, yeah, this figured it would be like. I, I remember, I remember that there's this shit. part where like one of the fucking main characters who's like uh, all like hyped up to be this badass, it's like super like t- tactical and shit. Right. Like jumps off of the thing of this high fucking building or whatever with an axe at a dragon to cut to like try to kill it or whatever. Yeah. And the dragon just eats his dumb ass in midair. <laughs> and it's the funny. funniest fucking thing. It's, funny so it's like what the hell. fuck did you think was gonna happen? Oh, right. <laughs> Nah, bro. He had that in his mind. He had. That. He's like, okay, uh, if I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. if I'm gonna die, yeah, I gotta yeah. Make yeah. Sure his I his last thought too. was just like, yeah, this is gonna look so badass, and then he's just eating. He's just writing. <laughs> he's just writing wow. a suicide letter in his mind. Oh, where are we going? We're in, oh, we're in Postwick. Oh, is this after John Wick? Yeah. This is this is after John Wick finally finds peace with his dog. That's good. That's good. That's what we want. And then his dog, and then his dog dies of old age, and he goes on a quest to kill the Grim Reaper. Oh no, that's sad. <laughs> it's like De- even death will die. Oh wow, I'm cool and gore here. <laughs> Fame. Now score. It's just a sweetheart. Yeah. I heard the news from young Leon. I'm so glad someone bothered to tell me. Yeah, of course. We're going We're going to some part of Spain to save uh, a lady named Ashley and make sure Oh, we get Antonio Banderas' help along the way. And then, you know, it's going to be a grand old time. We're dealing with like a quote-unquote cult. Wedgehurst. <laughs> when did yeah, Antonio Banderas come into this? Bro, go, go back to your mom real quick. Man. We yeah. Hey, go back to your mom. Man! Man. Bro, mom's kind of fucking thick, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I played I played Scarlet, bro, and I don't remember mom being thick and Scarlet. I haven't played Scarlet yet. It's been a minute. They really messed up with uh, that game. Garland Violet takes place in Spain. This game's in the UK. Uh, like, the first four generations all take place in Japan. What the fuck? Fuck! Did you just say? Uh, Kanto, Johto, <laughs> Hoenn, and uh, Sino are all what? taking place in Japan. What? And then, uh, Generation Five is in New York. What? Generation Six is in uh, huh? France. What? And then Seven's in Hawaii. I thought it was like the Hoenn region. I know. Dude, yeah, I legitimately never knew that Pokemon visited out to even a different country. Yeah, they're all like... based off of like different. <laughs> Like real world what? locations. That's why a lot of kids really liked the first couple generations. So what? Like I what? knew they did one that was like on a different island or some shit. Yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, I didn't know that they did like New York. Oh yeah. What? Yeah, because Alola is only in Hawaii. Did, did they base it off? Did they base it off of modern New York or like 1970s New York? Because uh, modern. One New of those. York. Yeah, generation. Five okay, okay. Because New I was gonna say one of those. Uh, you're very likely to get stabbed while looking for your Pokemon. <laughs> you're also very more likely to go to a peep show as well, in old CD New York. <laughs> there are a bunch of places like they still haven't done anything for that. They haven't done anything for Africa. They haven't done anything for like. Australia at all. I'm surprised by that. And the kangaroo just repeatedly calls you a cunt. <laughs> yeah, the kangaroo with boxing gloves just attack people. I think that actually is a Pokemon. I would like to see like a Bandicoot Pokemon. <laughs> My Bandicoot. Have a, yeah, yeah, have Crash Bandicoot and Pokemon. Hell, Tiny Tiger would work out. And he's, yeah. Have you guys seen the old promotional, uh, like, tapes of Crash Bandicoot? There's one that is, like, a 3D animation where it's really uh, weird. You guys, if you I guys saw the one where, those. like, he's outside of Nintendo's office with um, a gun. Oh. And he was, like, <laughs> shaking as he loaded it. And then, uh, he just, you know, kind of kicked in the door. And from there, it just devolved to screaming. <laughs> I think I know which one you're talking about. Am the I live remembering action. the right commercial? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The live action ones, I do know about those. But uh, the, the one I'm talking about, it's a 3D animation. 
uh, where it'll be like, oh boy, I just flew in from the new runes level and my arms are tired. <gasps> dude, like, where did that uh, just, uh, dude, like, just cut to that clip when I finished. Dude, Crash, line. like, the whole, like, Crash advertising thing around that time talks so much shit on Nintendo. Right. Oh, yeah, they used to it's do that. They used good. to do that to Nintendo and Sega back Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. At the same time, I wish I could have gone into the Sega Saturn library, especially Japanese market. It's, it's really It's good. fucking insane how many consoles Sega just oh, straight yeah. fucking abandoned. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, that was like the Dreamcast, but that was because they lost. They lost. Dude, yeah. Yeah. It the was ahead of its time. It was the Dreamcast yeah. was really it was, good. It was, but it was also it was like, I think that was actually the first children. console that had like internet access, too. Oh, yeah, like a Fantasy Star Online, kind of like that. I know that <laughs> was on the. Hey. Yeah, yeah, and was, they had hey, like was, an actual like MMORPG it for it. It really was a good shit. console. I, I, I honestly wonder what the landscape of gaming would be like if the uh, Dreamcast was if, like. Super oh yeah, successful. I wonder what it'd been like because I'm pretty sure. It, well, here was the one thing that I really made me think about that because, like, I know the whole Activision Blizzard deal thing happened. Oh, no, I did Apparently, uh, Microsoft was also looking into buying Sega as well, and they they declined. But uh, you remember that the Microsoft tried doing the same thing with Nintendo, and they still said no. But I don't know. We'll see. Apparently, they're also trying to do it with Square Enix as well. Which, because I know, like, the Final Fantasy games are still gatekeep to the PlayStation consoles. <clears throat> and it would have been the same thing with Starfield, because it was originally just going to be a PS5 oh, wow. exclusive. They they were just immediately, they were just immediately like, yeah, we're going to be a fucking Monopoly, baby! Yeah, pretty much at this point. It's, it's crazy. I'm still... I'd have to see. I'll check into more. Yeah. Of it in well, the like future, Nintendo's a comp that, Nintendo's but... a company where, like, I feel that they will probably always be at least okay, just because of like how particularly loyal their fan base tends to be. Yeah, part of it would be that, but also I'm I'm thinking it's also because they are mainly Japanese companies, so they're dominant yeah. in Japan. So is Sony. Oh yeah. Kind of like in the U.S., it's mainly Sony and Microsoft because you know with the two consoles, it's just I don't get the whole console war thing. It's annoying. I get tired of the console. Yeah, war thing. but like, but Xbox just does not do well in Japan at all. Yes, exactly. It's it's really sad, and they tried for a while. There was quite a bit when like Halo t when Halo came out on Xbox, well, like, but. Well, yeah, it's not it's yeah, not very it's, surprising when you yeah. look at um, you know what I don't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, you good man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it happens. Uh, it happens. Well, well Rayler, I got one. I I so got like, it. I got it. I got it. No, <laughs> it's probably I mentioned it's less <laughs> culturally jarring for a Japanese person to play a console that's like catered towards them. Well, game wise, catered. Towards oh, them. I know what you mean. Yeah, talking about yeah, some that's what they usually play like i know rpgs get a lot of love out there too so um a lot of that stuff and i know microsoft's been trying to bring it out to japan a lot more but it's just i don't know it's i don't know there it, i feel like it's worth it i'm very grateful yeah. for having it but you know i have well, like really. the, the oh yeah we yeah. haven't been moving for a minute on screen well like in the two markets do like have different tastes in general sorry about this editor this might be kind of a mess i know mm, market taste market mm, market taste oh we should we should go catch an onyx and let it out in some people's houses <laughs> <laughs> that would be good that would be good oh my god Dude, did you guys see the uh, stunt that uh, fucked Johnny Knoxville up really badly? Oh, no, I haven't. So, what happened in, with in the last Jackass movie they did, number four, he did a uh, yeah. uh, one of the bull things, and he actually hit his head really badly and got like a really bad concussion, and like I think he's oh, actually retiring shit. from Jackass because of it, because he can't afford to get another uh, brain injury. What? Oh, yeah, it's sad. It's sad. He's also he had a catheter fucking like 20 years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah he's been cast and everything. I, I know, we talked in great length oh, about yeah. cast before uh, on the channel. Oh, uh, crazy when you look yeah. at some of the shit they did to themselves, dude. Holy shit. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Have you guys yeah, ever it's, watched those um, CKY movies? I haven't. Don't get me you wrong. Haven't? I do enjoy some CKY. Okay, so, so CKY. I think their drummer. I don't know if it's their current drummer or whatever, but I think their drummer or some shit. It's Bam Margera's brother. Right, right. Oh, Jesse Margera. And so Bam uh, made a video thing. I think it was Bam who produced yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, called CKY, where it's kind of like it's very similar to Jackass, but I think it's like slightly before Jackass came yeah, out. Yeah, I, th- like, I, I think uh, I know. Really what you're talking interesting about. to watch because like it's so low budget because these are just a bunch of like eighteen year old kids uh, doing stupid shit in their backyards. Yeah, and stuff. I remember what you're talking about. Rab himself being or around in their there. like small town. Yeah, but it's like it's really interesting. But they use a lot of like CKY's music. And yeah, shit, dude. That's actually how I found yeah. out about them. They essentially did like a lot of that in like the very like the the episodes of Jackass that came out where it had like Rab himself, Jesse Marjora has been in episodes. All- I think I think it's fucking wild that they're that they do shit for like a Pokemon design where it's like literally an ice cream cone. Oh, the ice cream cone and the car keys. Oh, I actually like the car keys. Oh, Pokemon. yeah. I don't oh, like yeah. its design. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, it's fucking I wild when you like, like think about it. The yeah. character's literally a fucking ice cream cone. Yeah. Well, essentially, they've been doing it like since Generation 1. It's like, if you look at Magnemite, that's what he is. He's just literally just a bunch of fucking magnets. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Like, there's a lot There's a lot of Pokemon design that's actually really basic. Yeah. But they, like, uh... A great example is literally um, our little arsonist. Uh, it's yeah. just a fucking rabbit. <laughs> yeah, literally, it's just like just like Magmar, where it's literally just fire. It's literally just a thing, something on fire. <laughs> I, I want to point out, this is not me shitting on Pokemon's oh, design, by good. the way. Don't you fucking dare! Not you, mm. audience. Don't you fucking dare take this as me shitting up Pokemon's design. Oh, you already know that we'll, we'd be doing that. Trip would be saying, oh, it'd be looking like... With that said, your favorite Pokemon looks like shit. 